What lack of experience? I'm a lecturer, right? And I'm the dean of a college. That counts. I'm a master's student. Right? As a matter of fact, I'm a master, I'm a holder of a master's degree. So there's no lack of experience. When we talk about political representation, I've been in Mandeville, I've worked with candidates in Mandeville. I've come to Kingston. I was I'm in two of the youth organization that be the G2K as well as the Young Jamaica. I've left the G2K and I'm at the Young Jamaican. So it's not lack of experience. I have enough experience. Right? We can say our opposition doesn't have um, enough experience as you talk about representational politics on the constituency level. He has never run a campaign before and he has never represented the interests of the people before. He has only been appointed in any capacity in the government. Strong words from the Jamaica Labour Party JLP candidate Dane Dennis after casting his vote at the Boys Town Centre. The 28-year-old did not hold back as he affirmed that as a native of the community, he's the best man for the job. Let them know that this is not a PNP safe seat, that people will come out and people will vote because persons are tired of the type of representational politics. Omar Davis just exit. 25 or over 25 years he has been. You guys have walked around and you've seen his achievement. No water, low infrastructure, poor housing development, bad sewage, right? Unemployed youth. Education is terrible in the community. These are things that I am championing. I'm from the community. I go away to get educated and I, and I come back. And I'm educated and I am come back to serve. So whether I'm victorious today or whether I'm in the opposition today, I will be watching, right? As you can see, I am from the community. My vote is here. My heart is in the community. The mood was jubilant as we passed through a number of communities. People's National Party candidate Mark Golding explained his decision to enter into representational politics. He described the experience as challenging and rewarding since taking over for Dr. Omar Davies. I was strongly encouraged to consider succeeding him and it was a confluence of factors at the time that um, led to me making that decision. And so far, you know, it's... Um, I'm enjoying it. It's challenging, you know. There's a lot of, a lot of needs, a lot of um, areas that require attention, resources, and so on. It's not an easy road, but I think it's a, a road where, if you want to serve your people, it is um, a rewarding way to do it. The residents say they do not want another two decades of useless representation. So we need some more like educational institute. Uh, the community need to put back together as one. So what I think my MP would do for us is like coordinate all of the community together and work as one. Because, well, I don't need to talk about that. <laughs> because, um, and the next, um, the next team, they, it's like, for instance, like if road work bus about the place, right? For instance, this um, street would be PMP, next street would be JP, I want to fix one side of the road. I don't think that should, um, I think that's some segregation towards the company, uh, towards the community. Sorry, so I don't think that is fair enough for us. So we need a lot of changes. We need some jobs. We even need some assistance for people who are their family population are over. When I say over, the house are packed up. If you can see, like you can seek some help, like. Give them a turn to build some house on the open lands. Who can help themselves spread out? Where you see places to spread out, they spread out. We need some options for the younger generations who are coming up. Stage category five, six, generation, generation. That's what we want him for, not for one day, one minute, now one hour. For generation, generation. We don't remember in 1972, Rima they have suffered how long over party come out and use them and use them. And I tell you, if I'm burning the child, they bring him daughter come and bring him son come and everybody run through. So you are going to cut. Yeah, so what book has? It's a long time green place. So we are dealing with prosperity and betterments. That's it for our coverage here at St. Andrew Southern. Both candidates, Dane Dennis and Mark Golden, are pretty confident of victory, but we don't know who will be. I'm Leslie for Scene Caribbean News.